And so I have mixed the soil with water um, because this is peat. Most of it's peat. It's a sterile, a sterile, uh, sterile uh, potting mix. And um, you don't want to put uh, regular garden soil in here because it's too heavy and it'll compact. And so we just mix it with a little water before we fill the uh, trays. And we just kind of spread it around. There's no science really to it. This is where you can get kids to help you. They love to um, be in the dirt. Now, if you're if you're doing several hundred at a time, <laughs> you, you almost need kids to help you <laughs> because this doesn't get done on its own. So we fill up the trays, the little cells here in the trays, and we don't want the potting mix to be too damp. We don't want it soaking wet. We just want it just lightly watered so that this, the uh, seeds will have some moisture to germinate. And then after we get these sort of all filled up. Now the seeds themselves, depending on the type of seed you had, have, will determine how long it takes the um, actual little seedling to pop out of the soil. Um, some seedlings or some seeds are very stubborn about coming out. Peppers can take quite a while. Right now we're starting peppers um, because they take so long to, uh, to grow up and become something. Now tomatoes, tomatoes, uh, they're just, you put a seed in and then before you know it, they're overgrown and, and you have to get them outside. So with tomatoes, it's good not to start them till about the second, third, even the last week of March. The peppers, we're going to start the 1st of February because we're growing these for the flower and garden show. And so we want these to be fairly good size when we get to the flower and garden show, even though the people buying them at the flower and garden show should not be planting them yet because we still have frost issues to deal with until about Mother's Day. And with peppers, they will not grow if it's too cold. In fact, you'll stunt their growth if it's too cold. So when we get our seed packets, we like to use, I like to use organic seeds because I'm an organic gardener, so I get organic seed stock. And we use organic seeds. Now here I'm going to plant off some little um, lettuce seeds because I'm going to be able to get out into the garden in about another month and I'll be able to plant these little seedlings out into the garden and have lettuce about three weeks after that. So we just... Now on lettuce it depends on if they're a white seed or a black seed. If they're a black seed they can be covered. If they're a white seed you have to lay them on top. And So after we put our seeds in we just lightly sprinkle soil over them. So we're going to lightly sprinkle soil over the seeds. We don't want to press them down because we do want them to find their way through. And then a little shake. And we're finished with um, doing the seeds. So what we do is we take these and we put them on heat mats, which is where we're going to go into the basement to do that. Okay, so are we good with this part of it? Alright, so let's head into the basement.